Hello, everybody. All right, so you guys left off last time. Uh, Knox was having a little conversation with Catface about the origin of his new found powers. Um, and you guys subsequently went to bed. As you wake up, you all awaken to, the, to a familiar sight of being locked in your cells again. However, there are some differences. Fenrir, you are not chained up. And Aragar, your door is still busted off its hinges. But you all wake up within the cells again. I leave my, uh, I leave my room and take a look around, try and get the others. Wait, wait, are you, does it just seem like you're in a dark room and you can't find the light switch that I know that was? Oh shit, I'm blind. Yeah, no. I, it's dark. The, the, if you would remember, if you would remember, the center bit has a light source so you're able to see. It's the cells okay. that are more casted into shadow that don't I have light sources. Funny. Oh, okay. Cool. So, dark yes. So I can, I don't have dark vision, but I uh, I go towards light. Cell yeah. that you were in before. Good. Oh, good, good, Edelgor, you're still here. What happened? Uh. I don't actually know. We're here though, uh, so I don't know. At least I don't have those uh, godforsaken chains. As you look behind you, the chains are still there. You still stand by the statement. Is anyone else here? He'll like look around, seeing probably Nux, maybe. Golden. So every, as I recall, everyone's gate, everyone's cell door except Nox's had been opened in some way. Yep. So Nox, Nox had just walked up to the <laughs> arse of his and just lean on it. Um, and just sort of like peer through and look at the others and go Am I asleep? Oh uh, wait, did we get a long rest or no? Was there a long rest or no? Uh, yes, you all got a long rest. Okay, cool. Unless this is some twisted nightmare. Yeah. Cool. Fenrir will go ahead and, and see if his door is unlocked. Uh, your door was lockpicked open, so yes, your door is unlocked. Uh, All the doors are lock, unlocked, because, except for Knox. Lock pick, yeah, can I lockpick Knox's? Yeah, because, go ahead. Make yeah, a sorry. sleight of hand plus your proficiency. Twenty-three. Yeah, unlock the door with ease. It seems we were Didn't not even break a sweat. Here in our it's open. Get out, man. Otherwise, they would have bothered, bothered to impede us escaping. Perhaps it's some sort of ar arcane curse.
perhaps we try to leave it there. Perhaps we check our bars for runes. Finra will start doing that around for anything um, magical. Make me an investigation check. You do not find what you are looking for. Can I uh, light a torch? Yes. Okay. Because I just realized, like, that's the most simple way to just make more light when it's just cast. <laughs> yeah. But now you can't do a wheel. Oh yep. no. You are able to light, light a torch. Uh, great. We have a torch in here now. Um, yes. I do not see any runes of any kind. Druid, are you able to detect magic where it is? It's not one of my skills. Is there... Okay, well, I guess uh, if we can't find anything here, I guess there must be something further down. I hate to act insane, right. but we have no, but we have no, have no other reason to do anything other than leave. But lucky the the building won't be different. Well, if I'm honest, I don't remember its entire layout. Me neither. Nox dragged his claws along the walls. Yes, he did. Halfway through. Yep. However, as you leave, you notice almost immediately that the layout has changed. What used to be a straight hallway into a room and a kind of four-way junction has turned into just a corner, staring right in front of you. Right, I would have remembered this. I can take point again. Then you start blocking right. ahead. Yeah. It'll also transform into a hybrid form to stir. As you walk down the hallway, it leads into another corner that leads you to a door. I'll try the door. The door is able to open. The room is empty. As far as you can see. As you all enter the room, the door from whence you came slams shut, and six gargoyles descend from the ceiling. Please roll me initiative. <gasps> to a battle. 23. Did Man, guys, why, why are you guys so fast? I got 12. Irigar. So your nose was oh, on the ground. There it goes. Took a while. Actually, oh. I'll go ahead and add a D. Eh. Fast as fuck. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add a D8. Eh. Okay. Nox got a 21. Uh, Zolgan got a 23. Aragar got a 20. And Fenrir got a 12. Okay, 
auto roll them and start the initiative. At all. Alrighty. So we have Zalgin going first. Uh, all right. Uh, just give me a second. Sorry. Um, yes. Everyone, join the roll twenty so you can see. By the way. Uh, I see the map now. Yeah, we're not actually on a combat screen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was that's my fault. Ah, uh, that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. There cool, you man. go. There you go. Sorry. I have the combat screen open in a separate tab so that I can just tab back and forth. Um, that's my fault. Oh uh, wait, no, no, you're good. You're good. Can I use a bow on the top? The top guy, the first one. The green or blue? Yeah, uh, green. Green, yeah. All right. You would. Uh, um, have What's disadvantage because you're at the front. If you move to the back, you'll be able to do it. Oh, okay. Then I'll just attack him with my rapier and then move uh, move uh, as a bonus action. I'll disengage, I think it is. No, you could just move back. Oh, I could just move back? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll move back and shoot it with my arrow then. Or you my should bow. be able to move your character. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll move back there. Yep. Uh, I'll shoot it with the bow. Oh, oops, nine sorry. does not hit. All right. Uh, bonus action hide. Already. Uh, sixteen. Okay. That's the end. Thanks, okay. man. All righty. So then we got Nox going next. Christ, how do you find something made of stone? Um, ooh! Okay. Um, as they drop down, he would sort of instinctively face towards one that is to light or two that are off to one side. So as not to catch anyone and cast Thunder Wave. Okay, what color? Let's see in my head, I think of a natural room. Um, well, no, 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 because no, enemies have the colors, remember, for group attacks? I, I know, I know. Um, so. I don't know, green. Red's more off to the side, like you described. Yeah, but that's not relevant to where I'm stood on the thing, so it's all kind of irrelevant anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter um, where you stand on the thing. Yeah. To be I'm fair. Go red. Okay. It's just a suggestion. Alright. Uh, is it a roll for them or for me? It's a con save. It's a con save? Okay. 14. Do they get advantage or disadvantage if they're made of uh, certain materials? So one passes, one fails. So it's a um, it doesn't say anything in the spells effect unless they've got any particular weaknesses. Oh, okay. Uh, do they take half if they succeed, or is it they... So if they fail, they take full damage and are thrown ten feet backwards. And if they succeed, they take half damage and are not thrown backwards. Okay. Um, so. Uh, 
petals, and this one is going to be thrown back. All right, is that going to be your turn? Um, and assuming that when we woke up here, my familiar was gone. You get his house in it? Yeah. I'll, okay. um, summon it. Mm. Assuming right. it's, it says it's a I think it's a bonus, bonus action. action yeah. to summon it. Um, and it's also a bonus action to attack with it, so I'm guessing I can't do that on the same turn. No. So I'd have I'd summon it just behind me. Okay. I'm just gonna grab. I'll grab this for right now because I don't have a. I don't have a bird. <laughs> to give you. So I'll put that for your familiar for right now. Alrighty. So, Aragar, your turn. Ooh, lovely. Uh, wait, uh, can I be switched uh, with Borealis? You can control your own character, yes. As well as your familiar. Um, I would like to uh, attack with a longbow, the uh, bottom blue one. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, wait, uh, aiming there, uh, uh, casting uh, Hail of Thorns. Oh, wait, okay. no. First, I cast uh, Hail of Thorns and then. Uh, attack. But, yeah. Okay, Hail of Thorns um, is what? So I have to roll to hit with the bow, and then I. Uh, all the. It's a, it's an AoE attack, so it hit the, the blue group. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so roll to hit. Uh, That is a 10. Does not hit. Okay. But they still have to do the uh, dex saves. Uh, dex saves, you said? Oh, I'm casting a spell. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Uh, I rolled the d20. Do you want to do it? Yes, please. Okay. It's this. That one. Oh, Remember uh, where I put it. So you want to it. So uh, I got block. a 9. 36. 36. Let's see. 36. 36. You <laughs> this would have been more suiting if it was Fenrir. You lose the ability to smell for one hour. Well, I mean, that's not really the worst thing that could happen. No. It is not. Yeah. Uh, my, my yard, I'm careful with magic in this land. And then I'll have the uh, Drake. Uh, it has it has one attack. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna bite the. What's this one in the front? Yeah, just this green. This one. Okay. Uh, uh, 20 to hit. That hits. Uh, and uh, damage uh, 5. Um, damage that one. Right. Oh, and uh, uh, there's also a D6 of cold. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, four. Alrighty. Alright. It is Gargoyle's turn. 
it is going to claw at Fenrir, since you're up at the front. It's going to be a 10. Don't like that. Misses. Yeah, yeah. going to try to bite um, Borealis, which is a 13. It's Borealis is AC. I am uh, 17. Okay, so that also misses, and that's yeah. its turn. Very, very fun. Now for Gargoyle B, who's going to do the same thing, except it's going to claw at Zolgan. Oh no! Oh no! Which is 11, oh no. which doesn't hit. I thought Zolgan was in the back. He is. <laughs> Alright. And then he's gonna bite you, Fenrir. Uh, 23. The hits. Woohoo! Finally, a hit. Six damage. <laughs> Woohoo! Finally, a hit. Damage? Not these awful rolls. Piercing damage. Uh, it is yes, piercing. Immune. Nice. <laughs> Fun. It's your turn. All right. Uh, Fenrir's gonna pull out a sword that looks like it was stolen straight off of a guard's back and swing with that. Seems like he's practically roaring. Ten to hit. Ten does not hit. Extra attack. Fourteen to hit. Fourteen also does not hit. And then he's gonna go for a bonus action bite. Thanks to race things. Yep. Ah, oh, 14. 14 does not hit. Man, I got, I got, I, he's, he's looking like he's got distracted by a, by a hit, by a <laughs> bite. All right. All right. Gargoyle's turn. It's going to bite Borealis. Which is a 20, which is a hit, right? 17, no, AC. My baby boy. Yes, yeah, it's a yeah. 17. Inches. And critical on the damage, eight damage. <gasps> and then... He has 32 health now. <laughs> wow, a measly 32 health. <laughs> well, he started out with 40. So, wow, must be nice because yeah. most companions don't start that high. <laughs> um, and then it's going to claw at Aragar because you're right behind it. <gasps> that is an 18 to hit. Yeah, that. Wow, that didn't want to freaking go at all. And that is How a much? three damage. I think my... Give me one second. I need to refresh my page here. Because I think... They don't just... taste very hard. No, they do not. I think I'm just out. Right. I'm a... They're supposed to swarm and they hit a lot. Not hard. Uh... Already. Which is nice because you don't die to a random crit. Gargoyle's turn. <laughs> Another gargoyle's turn. Uh, it is going to go for a bite attack for Nox. An 18. I thought I was backline. Yes. Yes. Do we need a refresher as to what backline is? Backline, you can only be hit by ranged attacks. 
Oh, that's right. Your oh, rules. <laughs> I'm fucking up my own rules. <laughs> I'm fucking up my own rules here. All right. Um, scratch that. It's gonna bite. It's gonna bite Borealis again then. <laughs> It hit no matter what, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Fucking up my own rules here. Um... <laughs> no, Nox, you're hurting my dragon. <laughs> yeah, thank Nox for that one. You stand in front of your dragon instead of behind it. Uh, no. five damage. I don't, I don't care about it that much. Shit. Yeah, I it's... think I need to revise the rules a little bit. Anyways, um... <laughs> Taking hits. It's gonna you know. claw Fenrir then. Okay. My baby boy. 16. Yes. With 3 damage. Oh, man. I, I, I know. Okay. Actually, no. Claws are slashing. I mean, it's fine. It's, if it's not magical. He's a mean. Even if, even if it is, let me check. I'm uncertain. If no, I'm pretty it. sure uh, magical breaks through no matter what. I'm gonna check this myself. Really? Quickly. It is only my. No, 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 it is only magical. I'm gonna check it. It's. Well, it, it's his, magical it's his gets special uh, homebrew race. So yes, give me one second. Uh, so we're from non magical weapons. Okay. Non so yeah, yeah. it says specifically from non-magical weapons. I will warn you though, no legal character mentions magical versus non-magical damage. So most monsters aren't going to mention whether or not their damage is magical. Tis true. Because it physically doesn't matter. Tis true. So this wasn't a thing. This is true. Fun. I have multiple encounters planned for today. I might change things up. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that. Just start giving them silver. It'll it'll make me be great in some things and awful in others. Mhm. Mm All right. So, last gargoyle. <laughs> okay. Is going to. Let's go and bite Nox's bird. Why not? Which is... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I said it was behind me, but then given the way you do combat, that doesn't actually work, so... Yes. So that's a 10. I don't know what its AC is. I don't know what its AC is. It should say on your uh, sheet. No, give me a second. Uh, first time I've used one of these combat in about a year. Oh, don't worry, it's been a long time for me too since I've used <laughs> an, a familiar in combat as well. Uh, features. Uh, da, 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 da. 13. Okay, so it doesn't hit. It's then gonna claw. Uh, it's useless against Fenrir. He's gonna call a claw borealis. You're at 22. God damn. My baby boy. Three. Three to much. Calm down, it's three damage. I know, I know. <laughs> You're being over dramatic right now. <laughs> I care about right. my friend. Zolgan, your turn. Uh, again, I'm gonna try shooting the top green one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 22 to hit. That hits. Uh, 10 damage. Was what? I stealth last run? Yes. Uh, with so I get sneak attack, right? Yes. So would that be a 13 uh, down there? Uh, so total 23. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Damn! Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna stealth as a bonus action. Go ahead and roll again. 23. That definitely. Nox, your turn. Someone dropped off. Oh, it's, it's, um... Oh, he's, he's getting a call, sorry. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Nox, your turn. Um, having seen some reasonable effect from last under wave, he's going to do that again, but at a higher level. Oh, fun! So, and again at the red dudes. Cool. Um, roll me a d20 and d100. Okay, so your uh, spell goes off. And 75. 75. 75. You hear ringing in your ears for one minute. During this time, casting a spell requires a verbal component. Wait, wait. Casting a spell that requires a verbal component requires a concentration check on your spell DC. Interesting. So does that count from now on, or does that count for this one too? I'm going to say from now on. So the spell goes okay. off, but future spells will come. Jesus, having to do, do uh, also, uh, uh, being better at casting spells makes it harder to cast spells with this not happening. Yeah. Yes, it does. And ironically That's as well, weird. I've got to roll a d20 to try and cast it and now a concentration on top, which makes it, yeah, I'm not going to be casting anything for a while. Yep, um, ten rounds to be specific, because that's a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's just not worth the effort. Um, uh, so oh wow, that's nearly max damage, so 30 thunder damage. And then they make a concentration check? Or a constitution? Constitution, yeah. That's what I thought, okay. One of those. That's a 16, and another one, that's a 23. That okay, thing so critted. Both, okay, so they both take both half. half. Yeah. yeah. So 15 thunder damage. 15 each, so that's... 15, I'm so glad I don't have to do math and it just automatically calculates it for me. Love that. Ooh, so one of them is not looking so good after that attack. The one in the back is not looking too hot. All right, and then he would uh, use his bonus action to uh, cause his flaming hawk to attack, which really jarringly there isn't anything on D&D Beyond character sheet that I can click to do that. It's saving throw, right? He teleports and does, da does AoE damage. No, that's one of his abilities. That's one of the abilities. Uh, but it's very salmon block. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I good. would just say, let's just... If you're doing... If you're gonna do like the unarmed strike for it, or is that yourself? Well, no. So basically, um, I'm I'm trying to a, figure out what it is under this. It's it's got an attack called Flame Seed, which is a ranged yeah. weapon attack, plus six to hit, range of sixty feet, um, and it's one d six plus three fire damage. So if my if my spell attacks, I can click which is a plus six to hit, so they would work for um, roll to hit, at least. Yeah, just do that. Um, but I don't have a, I'll have to roll the d6 and just add three, so... All right, you can do that, too. So, that's a 19 to hit. 19 hits. And full damage, so nine, nine fire damage. Uh, which one are we doing again? The one that's looking a little worse for wear. Okay. It was six damage, right? Yeah, or uh, nine. Nine. All right. <laughs> All right. No on the screen. Is that your turn? Yes, that's entirely my turn. Irigar, your turn. Okay. 
give him a second. He's, uh, he's just opening his phone. Okay. Then you he heroically, while, sla while attacking, get to the side. Uh, to Bori, get behind me. I can, I can take them all. Uh, I was actually about to switch out to do a thing. Okay. Uh, with... Yeah. Um. I'm going to use a uh, breast weapon. On what color? Uh. It's a 15 foot cone thing. Uh, so it's the. Uh, I guess the green ones. Green? Okay. Yeah. Um. So they have to do a deck save 12. Should I roll the damage now or after? So one passes. Okay. Um, seven on the one that failed. And uh, three on the one that succeeded. All right. And then... Uh... I'll do a short sword attack uh, on the one in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, that hits. Okay, great. Uh, damage. Uh, six damage. Alrighty. Is that going to be your turn? Um, and then, oh, um, for, uh, for that attack, uh, the drake has a reaction that it can use that it can grant, uh, a d6 to an attack that it sees. Okay. Uh, five cold on top of that. Okay. And then. I'll and then it. that's your turn? Yeah. Alright, so the one that ju you just attacked is gonna inst is gonna go for you and straight up claw you in the face with an 8. <laughs> and then it's gonna try to bite you with a 24. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's fair to say you upset it. I just realized I have been sending this to myself the entire time not sending it to you all. Ah. So, How yeah. much damage? Oh, the four or five, six, seven damage. <gasps> Sacre bleu. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my god. And that is its turn. Now for the gargoyle that is Dying in the back, it's gonna move up. I didn't mean to do that. It's gonna move up. And it's going to try to claw at Fenrir. It is behind something. Is it Fenrir? Uh, no, I'm in the front. He's in front. Yeah, but that one that was at the back is behind the front row, so it can only use ranged, right? That is true, but they have no ranged attacks. Monsters have typically been able to use melee wherever they fit. Can just wave or make rude gestures to deal minute amounts of psychic damage. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's not that much room for monsters. I think they're going to be able to uh, like, hit the melee closest one. Yeah. I I think well, it hits, doesn't it? Nine monsters at once. Oh, like, oh my gosh, this is way too many. We should be able to stop these in a hallway. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I need to change things up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be changing things up soon, but uh, I haven't finished that yet. So. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not even gonna roll damage because it won't affect you. I know it won't. <laughs> Fender, it's your turn. 
Okay. Uh, Fender is gonna try and hit the most injured one he can get to melee with. Uh, that's going to be bottom green. All right. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen does hit. Fourteen slashing damage. Jesus Christ. Ooh, very, very bloodied. Is that gonna be your turn? No, I, I guess we'll swing again. <laughs> Twenty to hit. That hits. Eleven slashing damage. Are you hitting the same one? Yeah. Just making sure. Okay. Because that one is now deceased. Now he'll go to the next most injured one that he can get to with and within melee of. Uh huh. And do a bite attack. Okay, go ahead and fight. Did my fight get stronger at level 6? I don't think so. 23 to hit. Why is it 2d4? I don't know. Unless it works like a cantrip. I think it does. That one, it lets me... I can do this as a bonus action. Not reliant on what my action was. Yeah, that'd be a bit overpowered if that went up. Yeah, I don't think it um, upgrades over time. I think it's just based whatever this is. Okay, I just clicked the button on the thing. So, 10 piercing damage. Ouch. It hurt. That's my turn. The werewolf's going crazy. Alright. Um... It's <laughs> in fear with it just getting bite. It's gonna bite you. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, and five damage, which doesn't matter. It yeah. is also going to claw at Irigar, which I don't think hits. Fourteen, so no, it doesn't. All right. Okay. Now it's gonna be that one's turn. Uh, it is going to get to hitting. Uh, it's going to go ahead and try to hit Nox's companion thing with the claws, which is an eleven, which I think doesn't beat it. This is yeah, that's what I thought. Natural armor 13. That's what I thought. And then it's going to bite Irigar. Which is a nat 20. 24. <laughs> he doesn't mind. It didn't bite the dragon. I know. Which is a 7. Which is 11 damage for Aragar. I don't know. Is he listening? Can God, he hear us? Damn. Oh, okay. he can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Just making I'm, sure. <laughs> uh, I'm putting, I'm putting okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Now is a gargoyle, which is not going to do anything and just stand still. It's Olgan's turn. Okay, I want you to have fun too, man. I'm going to just move up forward. I'm going to take out my rapier. <laughs> <laughs> or you to have some fun too, man. What? Uh, do, do I have uh, I have disadvantage to his what you said before, right? With uh, melee? If no, no, no. With melee, you're good as long as it's the first row. With ranged, if you were to like shoot with your short bow to the first row, then you'd have disadvantage. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, if you I'm hit the second hit row, though, it wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. It would just be normal. Uh, so I'm still stealthed, and I think I have advantage because it's a dex-based weapon, I think. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm pulling yes. out a rapier. 
Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter that it's a dex based weapon, it just matters that you are hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, so... Does a 13 hit? To which one? Uh, I'm going for the same one I've been hitting. The top one on the green. Uh, green. you said 13 the, does not hit. Uh, well, shit, I don't stealth, and I flip him off. <laughs> it flips flip you off. off at the same time. <laughs> Amazing, there we go. Uh, is that going to be your turn? Yep. All right, Nox, your turn. Um, right, okay. Well, I suppose on the, uh, gesture of keeping things fun, I'm going to... I need to find the damn ability first. <laughs> Bonus action, fiery teleportation. Um, Is that... A spell? Or... Yeah. Uh, it's an ability of my summon. Oh, okay. Um, it so, it says, the spirit in each willing creature of your choice within five feet of it teleport up to 15 feet to an unoccupied space that so you can see each creature within five feet of the space that the spirit left must succeed on a deck saving throw a 14 or take 1d6 plus 3 fire damage okay um, so the closest ones to me are either say the green yeah so okay. he's so got to make a dc 14 dex dex it's just straight up it straight up got a 14 <laughs> Uh, okay, and it doesn't say that it takes half damage if it succeeds, so it's zero damage. Ah, so, uh, well, and not awesome for whatever, but yeah, you know. It won't teleport in 15 feet. Uh, You're gonna teleport over there? Okay. My familiar would go with me, though, but I can't move it. Oh, uh... Sorry. Uh, I just put it in. I didn't uh, think to add it. There you go. <laughs> uh, so that was bonus action. Um, oh, sod it. What the hell? Um, yeah. I'm gonna... Um, to cast um, something? Um, on the blue one, mm -hmm. right in front of me, I'm mm -hmm. gonna cast Inflict Wounds. Okay. Uh, so I've got to roll a con, a d20, and a d100, right? We'll roll the d20 first to see if it succeeds. Nine. So okay, it so it does. Oh, don't, roll so the d100. No. Seventy-two. Okay. Literally I'm already in the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> you gain the use of an unseen servant for one hour. Wait, does he know that he's going to use it? I was gonna say, how would you know? <laughs> You don't. You just start thinking, oh, I wish I could reach that, and it just, like, starts floating over to you. <laughs> Basically. This is going to take some RP, but I'm going to do it. All right, that, that's, uh, that's me. Turn? Okay. Uh, Aragar, near to her. Uh, yes, indeed, it is I, the Aragar. The uh -huh. guy with the bow. Continue. And this, yes. Um, I'm going to uh, make some short sword attacks on the uh, these, is, are these two dead? 
the just top, one. top one. So this one is close to dead. This one is dead. And this one's also close, close to being dead. Uh, I'll do this one. Okay. Uh, uh, and this one. You know what, I'll, I'll just do this one. I'll just do the red one. Okay. Uh, short sword. That's it. That is a hit. Short sword. That does hit. That's a... Uh, six piercing. And then my Drake's gonna use the reaction thing to give me some cold. And one cold. Thanks, Drake. Hmm. Borealis. Uh, Borealis is good. Huh? Close to me. Borealis did his best. Did his yes. best. Are you proud, Master? Uh, yes. I love it. Uh, he's going to do his attack. Uh, that's 12. On what? It's okay. Uh, to, for him to fight. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't bite. Yeah. Yeah. You just, uh, yeah, that's it. I did two attacks. Uh, uh -huh. bonus action is attack. Uh, yeah, that's it. My turn's done. Okay. It is now Gargoyle's turn. And it's going to... Wait, which one is this? This one's C. So it's gonna go ahead and hit Zalgan. It's gonna try to bite you. Oh no! 14. No, it missed! I'm Fucking glad you God. generated a threatening atmosphere. <laughs> Fucking damn it's it, also yeah. gonna try to claw you. Oh, thank God. But it's 16. It hits, it hits. It hit me. It doesn't. Eight damage. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That's good. God damn you. Help, man. Yeah, All right. Man. That is a. All right. That one's a dead one. So, so Fenrir, your turn. By the way, I double checked. It does increase in strength at fifth, fifth, eleventh, and so on level, which is a threat. Um, oh, fun. Um, so great, great sword is going to swing at the most injured one within melee reach. Mm -hmm. Oh, 13. That's a hit. One more time. Oh, 10. That's a hit. And then a bite. 13. Doesn't hit. <laughs> I'm not rolling too well. No one's rolling too well today. <laughs> All right. It is this gargoyle's turn, and it's going to go for Zolgan for hitting it so much. It's going to bite you. It is a 21. It hits. And a 4. And then it's also going to claw you. 4 damage. At a 20. <laughs> Oh, it it's crit? No. Oh. And three. Oh my god. And now it's another Goygoyo's turn that is going to attack Irigar. It's gonna bite you at 17. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that is. And an eight. And then it's going to claw you at 13, which I don't think goes, does no, it? That that nope. All right. No, it's the last card. <laughs> Jesus. Um, it's going to turn around and go ahead and try to bite Nox, which is going to be a 16. Oh, no. Yeah, meets a piece, right? And a five. Yeah. Uh, wait, is it five a damage or a second hit? Damage. Yeah, okay, five damage. 
and it's gonna claw you again. That's a six. That doesn't work. All right, it's Zulgin's turn. I'm gonna hit him with a rapier right in the face, the green one. I'm gonna flip him off with my bonus action, and then I'm gonna hit him in the face. With the You're gonna use a bonus action to flip <laughs> it off. Okay. Yep. That's how much energy he is putting into it. <laughs> All right. Uh, nine doesn't hit, I imagine. I no. Really... <laughs> All right, perfect. It flips you off and starts taunting you. <laughs> Wait, can, can the flip-off be a precision attack bonus action so it gets a man? No, no. That's a real bonus action you get. Precision, yeah. or like, any aim or whatever. It is, steady aim. Yeah. I'll do steady aim then, and flip him off as my steady aim, and I'm gonna hit him with my rape. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, here's, here's the advantage. 19! It hits! <laughs> it hits! Yeah, I get, I get sneak attack! I get sneak attack! Yeah. Boom! 20 damage right to the face! It is a dead beat. Deader. Oh no! My, You're I, off, killed it. I, bro, I move on top of it and I team. Nox was impressed till that last bit. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Now he's Done. just questioning everything. Okay. Same. Anyways, uh, Nox, right, it's, it's your what turn. Happens when fights turn into slogs that are particularly. How do you follow crazy. that, really? Um, by hitting it a bunch. He teabagged him. Oh. Great 60 no scope, noob. Oh, snap. Crackle pup. Thought it, yeah, I'm gonna try magic again just because. Uh, so, d20 first. <laughs> that goes off. Is it, does it have verbal? Uh, yes. So then roll the concentration. <laughs> Just straight up d20 plus your... Yeah, yeah. 17. There should be a con save, so there should be a button for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, so he did 17. the con save. And then it's against your spell DC. So what's your spell DC? 14. So you beat it. Go ahead and roll me a d100 really quickly. And then what spell are you doing? Just to see how much worse this can get. 69. Hey. <laughs> um. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one I was about to read. And I'm casting Inflict Wounds. Uh, second level. Okay. Which is da, 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 25 Good necrotic range. damage. Does that mean you get into hit roll? Alright. Um, alright, let me let me read off what the thing is. Oh wait, yeah, I had to do to hit before I did the damage. That's so many rolls, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang on, let me do the to hit roll. Do the to hit. Well... Doesn't hit. <sighs> Sorry. Oh my God, I had it all ready for you to hit, that. too. Okay, so... You unfortunately get a side effect. You, for the next, I thought it said for the next minute. Nope, for the next hour, any time you make an ability check roll, roll a d4 and subtract from the result. Oh my god. I'm just gonna like follow you guys around. Uh, like, I, I seem made, really um, unlucky uh, lately. Bane. Yeah, Bane. I've basically been Bane. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's for attacks. I guess it's a, uh... Oh, what's it called? The, Curse. The thing warlocks like to do. Hex. Curse? Hex? Hex. People? Hex. Kill people? <laughs> Hex. Sacrifice it's people to their patrons? Sacrifice people, yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice people. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's get back to the fight. Aragar, what are you doing? 
I am fighting a red boy. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna shoot this one in the face with an arrow. Go ahead. Yay, arrows. Long call. Natural one. Oh. <laughs> Second There's always the option to get behind Fenrir. He has been offering. 21. That's a hit. A hit. Yeah. Nine damage. Good job. And then, and then I'm going to uh, infuse the spark that the that's extra too cold, and then my drip is gonna bite uh, the one here. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna miss, probably. That's a 13. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Gargoyle's turn. Um. This one is going to go ahead and bite Zolgan. With a oh nat God. one. And it's going to go and claw at Elrgar, which is a nine. That's fun. Alrighty, Fenrir, your turn. Alright. I'll try to hit the uh, most injured one within melee. Okay. 26. That's a hit. 14 slashing damage. It is a dead boy. I so did not mean to click that one. most injured one within melee range. Give me one second. I got okay. This one is dead. In here as well. Alright, go ahead. 27 to hit. That hits. 11 slashing damage. It is still holding on. Oh, fight that one. Okay. 18 or 20 to hit. Okay. That's hitting. Nine piercing damage. You killed it. Dun dun dun. And the Fenris turn. Alrighty. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Oops. Do that one. Alright, it is Gargoyle turn. It's going to. I can't do anything against Venrir, and it knows that. Now it's gonna go ahead and attack Nox with a bite. Brave things to not run. An 11. <laughs> which I don't think is. Yep. It's also gonna try to claw you. 23. <laughs> ah. Might just do it. Three damage. <laughs> I'll take more than that. And now it's Zolgan's turn again. Uh, can I move on to the red squares, by the way, or am I? Out sure, there? go ahead. I've already let Nox do it. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to this one right here. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll uh, move. I'm. I'll move the dead body out of the way so that you can go more central in the square. <laughs> I, I just feel like a just for you. Apart. Just for you. Just for you. I'm going to stealth right now as a bonus action. Okay, roll. 16. All right. Uh, does, does he see me? Wait one second. I need to check that. I need to check. Uh, that's, 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 that's wisdom. Okay. Just, just got to check that. Uh, uh, 16, you said? No. It does not see you. I'm gonna Disappear smack him in the face. It. I'm gonna smack him in the face with a rapier. Go ahead. 22. That hits. Uh, 24 damage total, and I'm gonna flip him off coming out of stuff. There you go. Uh, <laughs> alright. <laughs> you said how much damage again? Uh, Seven? it is... Uh, I did... 24, which was higher than his to hit roll. 
Yeah. Uh, let me just double check the math here. Beautiful. Eight plus sixteen. Well, that's twenty-four. Eight. All right. It is a bloody. My that's the end of my turn. I just flip it off. All right. No, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna flame seed teleport back to where I was before. Because it's that times. Does that um, deal damage and heals around him? Alright, yeah, so it hits a, that top one. Go ahead and roll that again. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a save, right? I think it's a deck save, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you roll. Let me, let me roll the deck save really quickly. Is it 18? Uh, that'll do it. So he doesn't take any damage. I just teleport away. Roar. Um, and then... And now... No, I think, I, I think uh, I'm good with that. Alright. He's questioning life. Aragar, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna a blue dude in the face with my bow. Okay. Uh, you know what? Wait, did I? Did I, did I, did I, did I take my feet? Yes, it is. I'm gonna do sharp shooter on him. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I'm gonna do the uh, minus five uh, and then plus ten damage. So, uh, no. Second attack. <laughs> Again, sharpshooter. Ooh. Dirty 20. That hits. Even with the minus 5. Yeah. Are you hitting the top or the bottom one? Uh, the bottom one. Or bottom no, one? the top one. He's top got one? the bottom one. Okay. Uh, that's 19 damage. It is. And then. Dead. Oh. Well. I mean, that's. I'm kind. disappointed. Uh, well, no, because I didn't do the infused. I guess somebody else can get the strike so yeah that's cool um he's gonna do a bite on the remaining go ahead bite him ooh he bites him yep you get three attacks I don't know this is the drink this is the drink this is the yeah, uh, uh this is Borealis it's five pure and bite him Three cold. Alrighty. Yeah. Still alive. Uh, Fenrir, it's your okay. turn. Alright. I'll attack the most injured one I can get to. The, the only one left on the board. <laughs> okay. Everyone okay. else is dead. <laughs> 22 hits. <laughs> okay. 11 slashing. Alrighty, it is bloody. Yeah, one more, another hit. 17. That's a hit. 13 slashing. It's still bloody. And then he's gonna bite it. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 17, 17 hits. hits. You kill it. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna kill it, but you kill it. <laughs> oh, uh, and if he if he didn't, I was gonna add a. Uh, if he didn't, I was gonna add another d6 to his attack. Yeah, no, it's dead. As we go back to non-combat. Uh, just, just 
Uh, Fenrir will look around. He, he's obviously like any wounds that happened are healing almost immediately behind them. And he'll look around and be like, is everyone all right? Uh, it could be better. They hurt my baby boy. That is not very bizarre. You could try to take pause here, but I don't. I don't necessarily feel safe stopping within the, in these walls. That was, that was fun. fun. That was really fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. In the face a couple of times. <laughs> You know, you're really che cheering up compared to yesterday. I didn't, I didn't think our situation so different. Don't know. Just want to take out some stuff on these unweary gargoyles. They're dead now. It's fine. Let's go! Yeah! Alright. Well, adventure! <laughs> um... Yurigor, you could, you could stay behind me until we find find a good, good enough place to rest. And, um, unless they <laughs> find, find ways to counter me specifically, it's gonna be... Yeah, how tall is you? How tall are you, man? Uh, like, 5'11". Alright, I jump on the leg. <laughs> Onward! Take out my... <laughs> Is, oh, is just, there's literally a dude what the fuck? You dickhead! There's literally a thing that can be ridden. Onward! I think it's. I think it's one at a time though. Yeah, I mean, I'm not riding him right now. I was just walking him, so. It's true. What about you, Jerry? Yeah. I saw you att attempted quite a lot of magic. Right. To, to some success. Even despite this land. I've never even been able to learn it in here. I'm used to relying on it, and here it just fails me. Cheer up, man. I flipped him off for you. We should get get out of here as soon as we can. Once we can figure out what what keeps what keeps us from reading down to this castle, I don't think. At least if you all are willing to help me with my quest, it will, will keep us in no man's land. We can build armies elsewhere, probably more successfully. All right. to move forward let's go let's do it I will let's move out not even gonna investigate the room at all investigate the room investigation let's investigate I got a four we got, we got no description of the room we just assumed it was empty well the room was empty but um you now have gargoyles in front of you so they have any like cool gems on them or something like as engravings or anything engravings maybe uh, they do not have they do not have any sort of gems they do have engravings on their body not you would recognize them as um as some runes. Mm hmm. Do you think the wizard made these or captured them? I would imagine he certainly animated them.
these runes are not of animation or life. They are more of control. Ah, okay. Um, keyword ah, runes. this is slavery. Gargoyles just roam the no man's land. Is that a thing that I might have ran into before? These are slave gargoyles. Um, can I have you all make, uh, perception checks? Nailed it. Four, 14, bossman. Expertise, baby! 25. Yeah. 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 I was gonna ask if, uh... I can't even get as high as 25. I won't even bother. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, 14, 9, 25. Uh, Fenrir, did you roll? Do I get advantage for King Tenses? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Uh, that's if you're smelling. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what we're looking for, so I don't know if it can be smelled or not. Yeah, 15. Oh. Okay, no so you all notice around the room that the cobblestones that make up the wall, you all notice that they're a bit shimmery. As in, not your normal stones, more magical. I poke it with an arrow. Oh, I poke it with a story. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, nice. I poke I it with an arrow at the same time. I poke it with a dragon. I step back. Uh, you poke it and nothing happens. Oh. Damn. Dude. No, we got way too excited about poking. All three of us poked it at the same time. One poked it with a dragon, a sword, and an arrow. <laughs> Perhaps the whole, perhaps the whole place was conjured. I touch him. Of touching him there. Did the castle look really out of place? Nope. From the outside, or did it look like it was seamlessly blended in with the environment? Pretty seamlessly blended in. I mean, it's a castle that's surrounded by a literal graveyard with all of the headstones saying, saying basically, F you, good try, but you, you're a dumbass for coming here. Basically insults to the dead. I suppose if we have no other ideas, we can, I can keep moving forward. Let's go! He'll put his sword away and start going down the hallway. Still hybrid form. I'm gonna start walking in half things. Sure. Alright. I start walking on the dragon. As bag, so you I'll walk exit. The As you exit the, um, as you exit the chamber, uh, going, so the way that you were facing, you were facing, it would have been to the door on your left hand side. Then you would have gone down into a hallway that led to an L that now leads to a T. You can either sh keep on going forward or you can turn right. Just glancing back, Fenrir will then turn right, unless told otherwise. Let's go! Just back. Can't really say anything. Alright, so yeah. as you turn right and go forward, you're faced with another junction. You can either head straight and turn right again, 
into another hallway, or you can go left. Straight and head right. Alright, as you go off. straight and head right, you head into another room. This room is different than the room that you all um, have seen before. It's not filled with torture devices, it's not filled with dead people. This room is simply filled with beds. As you look around, you notice that the beds are covered in stone dust. Oh, this is where the tacos were sleeping. Don't they, like, sit on top of castles and freeze there? Were they crying? Is that what the dust is? I think it came off their skin. It was falling all over the place, remember? (laughs) (laughs) Is there any other exits in this room? There are no exits in this room. Okay, uh, let's head back out then, unless you guys, unless there seems like there's something worth investigating. I look around for any, like, clues or something. Roll me an... Roll me an investigation check. Uh, investigation. Nat 20. Oh my god. Is it really a nat 20? Jeez. Yeah, actually, All right. <laughs> I, have a, I have a plus zero to this. So, as you're going through, you're kind of like tossing the beds and stuff, and you find a note. The note is scrawled in very, like, a very not neat handwriting, and it takes you a minute to actually figure out what it says. It is in common, and it says, the only way to leave is through permission. Over and over again. It's written quite a couple times on the page. God. Guys, I found something. Found something. Pretty cool. My help us. Once it, like, once you mention it out loud, Cinder is gonna give a worried look to you. It's just like, do you think the, that means the wizard will keep t- telling us, teleporting us back until we meet him again? Probably. The person that wrote this probably went insane. Sounds like it. You, none of you would happen to be particular tricksters that could get him to give us permission without his knowing. No, he is not. I worry that our best chances will be ambush. I did not catch that. What did you just say? Well, like, if we were to fight him in an ambush, would we even be able to? Uh, if we be able to kill him, second, if we did, would it, um, would it, I'm trying to remember, sorry, I'm trying to Would it, like, break the spell type thing? Is that what you're trying to ask? No, if it were, I said earlier, it's, it's not. Um, Banyer would like to try to think into what he knows of magic. Not very much, but if he can figure out whether or not killing him would over time undo any spells he did. Roll me Arcana. Did you roll it? Oh, there There we go. You do not know. 
I cannot know, but I do think that we have a better chance of killing him than getting his permission. You would think that. Yes, I want to do it. Huh? Building. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do think we have a better chance of killing him than getting his permission. I suppose we cross the bridge when we come to it. Well, it's fighting our way out of this. At least we're doing something I'm used to. What if permission was an object granted rather than verbal? Maybe there's something we can find that will allow us to leave worth looking for. Let's investigate, fellas. Alright, we will search all the rooms this time for point in leaving unless we desperately need a break. Uh, can I take some gargoyle dust that's on the bed? What do you want to do with that? I don't know, I just want to keep it. I want to see something. Uh, sure, you can scoop some up. Are you gonna put it in anything, or are you just gonna hold it the entire time? Uh, so I just put the envelope in my, uh, or the piece of paper that has, like, no written on it. I'll put it in my pocket, and then I'll just use the envelope to scoop okay. up the... Yeah. Alright, okay. follow me. Alright, so as you exit, you're hit with the same junction you did before. You went up the first time, however, you did not- This time we'll go left, which means- Can I right finish, forward. please? Sorry. What? So you came from up, however, you came from up and then left. You did not go right at that upper T-junction. I said, we went right twice. Yes. And there, you're faced with two T junctions. At that point, you you chose to go right, and then you chose to go straight, which then led to an L that took you right. Yeah. If you go right now, you can do so, but you're going to also ignore the path you already chose not to go across. I'm just going methodically. Uh, as we pass it. Alright. So I know, we, I know we missed one. You go right then. Uh, you go right and then it brings you right again to another doorway to a room. Open this one carefully. As you open the door, it is sort of the same as last time with nothing really being around in the room. I'll step in and look for any doors or anything. Um, when you reach the end of the room at the door, do you guys follow? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Just gonna prep you all with this. Um, again, gargoyles drop from the ceiling. Take a shot for anyone. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it would have been really funny if you guys didn't come in and then we just skipped ahead <laughs> to Pinder opening the door. Alrighty, <laughs> let me. <laughs> I've changed combat to just standard. Because they don't have any melee attacks. Uh, Rule initiative, everyone. Ah, auto inputting. So nice. 
Knox, I need your initiative roll. Oh, yeah. Are you using a map? <laughs> yes. Okay, warning, I can't see it. Oh, fun. Oh, All right, well, you're at the door. There's anything. not really any gargoyles immediately around you. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll, I'm going to be giving you basic ideas. Okay. Uh, Zolgan, you go first. Um, I'm going to attack the gargoyle closest to the group with a uh, uh, short bow, and I'm going to use steady aim as a bonus action. Alrighty. Go ahead. Uh, does a 21 hit? 21 does hit. Uh, oh, wait. 29... I need a... Label these really quickly. All right. Uh, but I do twenty nine points of that. Uh, the red one. That is fine. I just need to label them for my own thing, so that I know which one is first, second, third, last. Okay. Uh, the red one. Alrighty. Okay. And you. He got takes twenty nine uh, damage. Twenty nine points of damage. Alrighty. Now already bloodied. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all I can do. All righty. It is Haragar's turn. It was so fast. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move. Should be able to move yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about where. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, there's a, there's a thing you can do that with. It's a... There is a ruler. Yeah. It's, it's a Yeah, I'll have this one. Uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, against the red one, I'm going to do two longbow attacks with the shark shooter. Uh, that's fortunate. Ah. I forgot to do the minus 5, so wait, uh, this is 21 minus 5 is, uh, 16. The 16 hit? What just happened? I don't understand anymore. Now no, we have to do a minus 5 to his 2 hit. I don't know if Beyond has a way to actually do that automatically. Uh, there, okay. there is a thing. But I forgot to put it. So yeah, it's a 21, but it's a track 5 to 16. 16 still hits. Okay. 16. Um, so that is... Uh, 5. Or 8. Um, that's 18. Uh, plus 56 cold from the... Strikes. 2. And I'm going to use a favorite bow on it. Uh, when you hit a creature with a attack roll, you mark the target for your favorite enemy for one minute. Uh, or until you reduce the concentration. First time on each of your turns that you hit with your favorite enemy, you feel damage to it, including when you mark it, you can increase that damage by 1d6. So an extra d6 of the percent. Uh, uh, six. Okay. Uh, Drake is going to 
or a four else to do a fight attack. And uh, piercing, uh, six piercing, and one cold. <laughs> Just enough to kill it. Yay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Fenrir, your turn. How close is an injured one? Uh, none, because he just killed the only injured one. Okay, uh, how, how close is the closest one? Uh, the closest one is 30 feet to your 11 o'clock. All right, I'll go there. I have 35 foot movement, so maybe I'll whatever. All right, so you go up to the gargoyle. Uh, pulling out his stolen great sword, he's gonna swing at it. Alrighty. 21 to hit. That hits. Nine slashing damage. Twenty-five to hit. I'm sorry, nine damage, and then twenty-five does hit. Seven slashing damage. That hits. Okay. And a bite. Oh, eleven damage. Alrighty. It is Gargoyle's turn. It is... What's his movement again? His movement speed is 30. It's gonna go up to Nox. And it's going to bite. Which fails. And then it's gonna try to claw. Which it also fails. Alrighty. That one's dead. Nox's turn. Uh, gonna do my fiery teleportation, get away. All right. Uh, so deep square five feet, yeah? Yep. In which case, I'm gonna go here. My little dude will come with me. So that's a uh, dex, um, Save for uh, them. Mm hmm. Uh, deck save, deck save, deck save. There you go. That is a four, so they fail. Take uh, eight fire damage. Alrighty. Uh, you got that one. That'd be. You said five? Eight? Yeah, so it's d6 plus three, so eight. Okay. And then we're gonna keep things traditional and line up a bow shot. Okay. To the same target? Yeah. Uh, that's only a nine to hit. Mm -mm. No dice. That's my, that's my turn. All right. All right. So this one is gonna go ahead and attack Fenrir. Um, it's going to claw you. That's a 14. Yes. Alrighty. And this one's going to be three damage as I'm it immune. claws you. Okay. You feel a sense of burning as the claws slice through you. As you notice, its claws are silvered. 
Are they silvered or are they magical? Silvered. Man, I can't disarm that. So I, I, I actually take six damage now. I'm vulnerable. Yes. Um. And then that's going to be its turn. And it's going to be this one's turn. Which is going to go here. And is going to attack Nox with a bite. Why is this going to self? which is a 10, which doesn't work, but it, then it's gonna try to claw you, which is a 22. Yeah. And eight damage. Eight, that must be max damage, surely. Uh-huh. It's a d6 plus two. Now it's the last one's turn. I just need to get this out again. We can't reach anything. It's gonna go there though. It's gonna go here. And it can't do anything. Because it's not close enough. Zolgan, your turn. Um I'm going to steady aim uh, and hit green. Green? You. Alrighty. Uh, 24. 24 hits. Uh, 17 damage. Oh, not 147. What's up? <laughs> I accidentally typed in 147. <laughs> uh, or, you know, soon though, soon. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright. Uh, that's all I can do is that he just gets rid of my movement and my bonus action. Alrighty. Yeah, so. Aragar, your turn. Amazing. I'm going to be, um, five, ten feet here. Thirty-five, uh, and I'm attacking blue. Uh, Mongo, dark shooter, uh, and I'm going to do if it hits a uh, favorite foe as well. Okay. If it if it hits. That does not stack and attack. Also does not. Mm. Well, uh, uh, bite. Still, what? There's still a bite. Uh, twenty-two. That hits. Uh, nine. Okay. Piercing and free cold. Alrighty. It is now Fenrir. Uh, he's, uh, at the last full attack, he's gonna yell, particularly in seeming a lot more in pain than the last fight, but he'll swing twice at the thing. 21 hit. Hits. 11 slashing damage. Alrighty. Twenty four to hit. The hits. Eight slashing damage. Alrighty. Is generally people uh, on my team are behind me in one direction or another. 
Uh, everyone's kind of to your... what is that? Everyone's kind of like to your seven or like, like six to eight o'clock range is where everyone is kind of around. Basically, as we went in the door, you almost did a 90 degree right turn into that corner of the room. And we're in the middle and on the left hand side. Yeah. Seeing these things moving, they moved more than 30 feet in a turn. You will get an attack of opportunity because you are face to face no, with the no, gargoyle. No, 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 I'm asking, have I ever seen them move more than 30 feet? Oh, the party itself? The, the gargoyles, ever. Uh, no. Okay, um, I'm gonna disengage as a bonus action, which is a race feature. And then, uh, go 35 feet back towards the party, yelling at them the... Uh, the beasts are covered in silver! <laughs> and that'll be the end of my turn. Alright, I'm gonna move you there then. Yeah, 35 feet. I'm gonna move you there. Your gargoyles can kinda get to you if they move, but you're kinda safe, so. Okay, cool. There you go. And that gargoyle is just left hanging there. All right, uh, it's this one's turn. This one's gonna go for a straight up bite at your pet, Irigar. That is a five that doesn't do anything and it's going to slash at it as well, which is a 14. It's 14 hit, uh, I don't remember. Does not hit. Does it not hit. Alrighty, so then it's gonna be Nox's turn. Uh, how I mean, you always could. Buff on me for? How much is what? How long was that debuff on me for? Uh, both what of them were on you for an hour. So I'm gonna say next round they'll be over. Alrighty. Because he traveled a bit and he did some other stuff. In that case, all I can really consider doing is teleporting away again. You could um, hit it. Yeah, with the quarter staff, that wouldn't do a great deal, especially compared to what everyone else is doing. I mean, I've got a pure magic character, and I'm in a zone where I can't do magic. Um, I do both, right? Challenge. Everyone is actually teleport. Uh, wait, don't you have your bite? Logically, I could not fathom biting stone. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, I mean, the rule is written want... is just that's the drain type. The drain type. Yeah, but that's more metagamey than what would actually make sense against a stone creature. Um. So, teleport away, again, dex save for the green one. Okay, dexterity roll, that's a three. Uh, so, five fire damage. I thought that's what your tendril was. You said five? Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Then, 15 to hit. Uh, for which one? No, the green one, still. Oh, okay. Uh, that hits. Oh god, seriously. I rolled a one. Three damage. Better than nothing. Alrighty. Is that gonna be your turn? Yeah, I can't do anything else. Alright, gargoyle. It's 
gonna move down here. And it's gonna go ahead and hit Zolga. What was that? I said ooh. Oh, you. It's gonna claw you first. Does it hit me? 19. That hits. I'm gonna use a reaction to take half damage. So that's a three. Any dodge. I take three damage? Well, three is the base, so half of it would be one. Alright, I take one damage first. And then it's gonna bite you. Oh, well. It does not succeed on that one. Oh. Alright, so now it's gonna be this one, right? Nope. It's gonna be that one. And it's gonna move up to Fenrir. And it's gonna go ahead and claw you. Use my reaction. I'm gonna use my reaction to do a brace attack. Okay. I don't know what that does. When they come up to me, I make an attack. Oh, okay. I, I have 23 to hit. That hits. And then I get to add my uh, Battle Master dice to the damage. Okay. 16 plus. Another one, so 17 slashing damage. Okay. They still attack though, right? Yeah. Okay, so that was a 20 to hit. That is. Alright. With 8 damage with silver. So I take 16? Yep. Alrighty. That's gonna be its turn. This gargoyle is... Uh, is that right? It's gonna go ahead and go towards Fenrir. And it's going to attack Fenrir with some silvered claws. And it fails at that. Okay. It's Zolkin, it's your turn. Alright. Alright. Uh, one's right in my face. Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh,. I'm gonna use steady aim and I'm gonna take out my rapier and I'm gonna hit him in the face with the rapier. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming a 13 does not mm -hmm. hit. Okay, well, uh, that's my turn, man. Alrighty. All, All right, right then. Uh, Irigar, it's your turn. I shall shoot the blue. The blue Based. one? Alrighty. Yes, with the, the same thing I was doing before with the structure. Uh, yay! Hits. Does a 15 hit? Hits. Yay. So that is going to be uh, 22 damage. Alright, it is bloody. Uh, um, the first hit. And then the uh, second attack. Nine. Also hits. Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, I have to minus five. So, uh, so 15 hit? Yes. Okay, so this is 24. Right? Keep forgetting I have to reapply sharpshoot every time. But yes. 24 damage or 24 to hit? 24 damage. Okay. It is dead. Yay. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I have my bonus action. Uh, whatever. Let me send Borealis over here. 
two right next to me so there's one right above you and there's one to your seven o'clock oh, yes. so there's two right by me yeah um, do they do they look particularly injured um let me just double check that uh, this one, is the... one is okay the other one looks injured the one to your top is more injured. Um, is there an area somewhere that's not within 30 feet of any gargoyles? Uh, yes, over towards Knox. Okay, and like, it looks like it's far enough that none of them could get there and I could, and I could get over in that direction. Uh, yes. Okay. Um... I'll go ahead and swing at the injured one. Is that one in the air? No. Right. On the ground. Okay. All right, go ahead. 11 to hit. Doesn't hit. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen does hit. 17 slashing damage. You kill it. I'm gonna disengage as a bonus action from a race feature and then move 35 feet toward Nox. You move right next to Nox. Alright. So. Gargoyle. Oh. Nope. Oh. Uh, is Nox's turn. Um, you don't have how, any B buffs right now. Just reminder. How's uh, Fenrir looking health wise? I don't know. Fenrir, how do you look? Not bloody. 45 out of almost 70. But it looks like the few wounds that he has are very much sticking around. Wait, can... Can Nox not use Channel Divinity? Yeah, he can. Why? For late health. And what? Temporary health? Well, I mean... Oh. Honestly, well, so I'm it's, okay for, saving our, it's temporary health okay and it saving doesn't... resources for the big fight. Yeah, this is only the second fight. Right, we, we have reason to think we're going to need to possibly take down the big wizard. True. Okay, next. Sorry. Nox, what are we doing? You have a longbow, don't you? I do. You do have range. To the two that are still alive. Because I think longbow is, what, 120? It's absurd. <laughs> it's, it's, longbow is 150 100. standard range, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you got... You're plenty of in space. They looking pretty rough, or um, they look. One looks really rough. The other one seems to be chilling. <sighs> Absolutely um, chilling. Okay. I'm a chance magic. Okay. Um. So I'm going for a. What spell are you going to try to cast first? A Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, roll me the d20 and roll me the d100. Uh, 
Well, didn't go off. That's just my luck. 21. Alrighty. Alright, gnats buzz around your head for one minute distracting you. You must make a constitution saving throw against your own spell DC to cast a spell. Everything about this game is just screaming at me, don't try magic. <laughs> Everything about this region is screaming, don't try magic. Yeah, I don't have much else though. Um... Alright, I suppose... Actually, I don't even think I'm in range for my familiar to attack. You can have it, crack it. Oh, it's 60 feet. Oh, yeah. That's fine. 60 is in range of all of them. Except for okay. orange. Well, it can move forward a couple of feet. Um... Now it's in range of all of them. So that is so to hit. Looking at uh, twenty-three to hit. To which one? Orange or purple? Uh, we'll go with purple. Purple. Okay. That hits. And then that seven fire damage. Alrighty. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's my bonus action and All my right. action fail. It is Orange's turn. It's gonna go for a claw against Zolgan. So 14. Uh, miss. All right, and it's gonna fight Borealis, which is an 11, which also misses. Yeah, thank you, friends. Then it's gonna be this one and it's gonna go actually it's gonna go right to you it's gonna go right up to you Aragar and it's gonna go ahead and take a swing at you and it misses and it's gonna go ahead and try to bite you and it also misses and it's all its turn uh, I'm flipping off the orange one, and I'm gonna hit it, um, steady aiming again. I'm just gonna hit it with my right ear. It flips you? you off, and it winces at the pain as you hit it. Uh, 22 damage, right to the orange one. You kill it. Oh, teabag. Can we please stop teabagging things? Teabag. Teabag. <laughs> Alrighty, is that your turn? Yep. Aragar, your turn. Um, um, I am going to do a stabby stab with some sword. Okay. Short sword. Woo. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Uh, I'm gonna use, yeah, I'll use favorite call on this one. Uh, 9 damage. That's my second use of favorite. Or second enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 19. 19 hits. And that is 14 damage. Uh, and then my break is going to do the uh, bite attack on the bottom. Oh, still coming. It's up there. Uh, 10, 15, 15, 15. Uh, he might have more speed, but it gets him. Um, yeah, bite attack. Go ahead. Fourteen, 
Is that your turn? That is my turn. Alrighty, Fenrir, your turn. Alright, um, how many are left? One. Is it within 35 feet? No. Uh, I'm gonna drop my sword on the ground and pull out a longbow. Okay. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits. Nine piercing. Alrighty. Twelve to hit. Twelve does not hit. And um, let me double check. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use second wind to reduce right. the health in one second, and then that'll be my turn. Okay. How much health do you gain? Ten. Sweet. All right. Knox, your turn. Attack. Oh, that's an L1. Nope. You shoot your familiar. No, I'm kidding. Well, my familiar got a two to hit as well, so that's my turn. <laughs> Move, please. All right, it's now the gargoyle's turn, and it's going to go ahead and claw at Iragar with a 20 and a four damage. And then it's gonna go bite Borealis with a 21 and five damage. I'm bloodied. Good. So uh, again, and your turn. So is Drake. <laughs> I go, oh, oh my God, wait, wait, what was it? Uh, uh, I'm gonna steady aim and hit the purple one. The only one alive, sure. Yep. Uh, 21. Hits. 24 damage. Oh my god. It is dead. Oh my goodness. Um, Benrir's, like, lived here for a while. Does he know of many beasts that have silvered paws? There are some. Not okay, many. Okay, so this isn't like, this is super, this isn't like, oh my gosh, the wizard made these specifically to catch a werewolf or something. Oh no, these were made. Gargoyles are not one. Okay. Um, uh, so he's not gonna be like, I gasp that gargoyles had silver claws, and I make that assume that like everything's been made for that purpose. But he'll like see if he can grab his arrows that he shot. Most of the arrows are broken. Uh, there were two, so how many aren't? Oh, uh, one is not. Okay. Anyone else want to okay. do anything? I suppose, I mean, I could potentially study the runes on them to see if I feel I could undo them or turn them to my advantage. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make me Arcana. Your well, favorite can role. The, uh, can I give him the help action Funny. for this one? Ooh. Uh, can I give him the help so, action? I was going to ask you about that earlier. So uh, he's advantage. Well, he doesn't need 
doesn't need it. I mean, you might get a you might get a higher roll. Then. Uh, no, he yeah. succeeds what he's trying. Anything to do. higher would be a nat twenty. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. You go ahead, and you are able to remove one of the runes, therefore canceling it out. And as you do so, this the outer shell of the gargoyle begins to break apart and in lies an human man. Alive? He is not alive. Recently? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sort of. Pretty recent, I would say, maybe within the last 28 seconds. Ross consoles himself that he didn't do much of the damage. <laughs> Finry doesn't mind all that much. He's used to killing humans. Uh, the... Be like the mad, the mad mage, thinking brain, brainwashing them, or some arcane ritual. I think he's slow. Think they power what these. What a dastardly man! We should take him down at once to adventure. We must away. Yeah, I'll just look at Nox and be like, we may have to face it, our best. Does anyone have any, like, healing potions? I don't think anyone has any healing potions. Nope. No, well, we should have gotten healing potions. We were very not prepared for combat in this place. I think we're not used to using healing potions. Used to having more than one combat per day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Nox can heal, but at what cost? Exactly. I suppose out of combat, he can keep trying, but he may just ultimately curse himself. To be fair, though, out of the three charts, you guys, I rolled pretty high, so you guys are on the less severe scale of using magic today. So. Both me yeah. and Dragon Boy are bloody. Good try to hunker down somewhere and rest for a hush, uh, an hour or so. We can do a short, yeah. If that's if you think we won't be caught in here, we're not exactly on home ground. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, Ox is happy to try and patch people. That's that's risky as fuck. But well, thing is, it's that... never done any damage to me. It's just yeah. I has Finger ever seen someone like long term legitimately hurt by? the anti-magic stuff here? Uh, no. It's just Not very, to like, his not, knowledge. The worst part is using a, using spell slots that end up not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's, that's legitimately, like, probably the worst case. Worst thing about it. Yeah. And I don't think any, anything in here, like, kills you right off the spot. I mean, there's one that I saw that kills you on the spot, but nothing else, like, kills you. I don't Probably know if you want to spam one on the D20 and the D20. And it's not even the one on the D100 <laughs> that but kills you. Like, I don't know if one percent like, going for spamming, but... Yeah, it's Some like it, might, might mention is like uh, it's it's risky, yeah. but I don't think I've ever seen anyone uh, severely injured. At least once they already know how to do magic. So he would try it on himself first. You're going to try. Do 
12, so your spell goes off. 65. I feel like we did that one, didn't we? 60 and 70 range. No, we did yeah. 60. Oh my god. For the next die. day, everything you say must rhyme. If you don't, take 1d6 psychic damage. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna be dealing that much damage to us instead. He's just gonna be hearing someone talking today. rhyme. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one. That was great. Uh, okay. So I heal myself. He gets to automatically know that this stipulation exists, right? Or... Yes. Okay. So he would sort of like realize like the magic would go off and he would look visibly refreshed. Um then he would just nod at the uh nod at Henry as to what he said about it not having any major side effects and move towards our bloody companions. Uh, well it seemed to work well enough. I am alright. Don't need to worry about our more intimate friends more than first. Um, so both Salgin and, um, I can never remember the name. Aragar? Aragar. I keep thinking Aragon. That's like, no, that was the point bad. of him naming it this, by the right, way. Right, okay, I don't feel so bad then. Yes, um, that, that's fine. This is the inspiration for this character, literally. <laughs> so I'd go well, I mean, to... Why'd you change the name at all? I just, I just like, put mine wholesale. He... Eh. Dead. All right, Basically, so... I just changed the R to... the N to an R. And I didn't the change the a darn thing. So your spell doesn't go off. Oh no. Gonna, you're gonna come up to heal me, and then I'm gonna, my arm's gonna blow up. No. 79. Alright. Okay, always in the 60s and 70s. I'm gonna grow Roll a beard me made of a blue feathers. D6, feather. please. Me or him? Not. You shrink one inch for the next day. Scroll up. 35. I don't think he's cast at this point. Oh! You can hear exponentially well for one minute, gaining advantage for all perception checks related to sound. I guess he would notice that pretty quickly. Mm hmm. Um, that one didn't seem to work. Is there anything you can hear? Uh, make me a perception check with advantage. <laughs> going out the door that that Fenrir was going to go through before the gargoyles went down, you can hear uh, the wind of the outside coming from behind that door. Yeah, a three and a twelve. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my rolls are horrific tonight. My rolls are horrific tonight as well. I will have you know. All right, he's gonna try one last time. All right. For Falcon, and then he can patch himself up. That's a full. Ugh. I want you, you to heal die. them, but it's like, yeah. come on. This is the thing, my entire character is utterly useless in this entire region. Like, Your intelligence is increased different. by two for one minute. What? <laughs> what the fuck? That's just Holy not... shit! Yeah. Like, I feel like these, these things wouldn't even be bad oh. if the spells just always worked. 
but the fact that we're like you're using spell slots and sometimes not getting anything so much bigger of a deal yeah like i've used all my um third level spell slots i've got one second level spell slot left um got one first level left and i think i've actually managed to cast about two spells Dude, jesus christ you got a plus two to fucking intelligence jesus christ <laughs> for one minute yeah only for one minute. <laughs> so he's going to use this so epiphany moment of higher intelligence to realize that magic is just not worth trying in this region i'll do this i'll lower I'll lower it pretty severely. I'll lower the goal number for the d20 for the spell to go off. I won't tell you what it is immediately. But based on your rules, I'm going to lower it pretty severely. Which if we have like one more session in, the, session in this region and then we leave... <laughs> Maybe, but yeah, if we're staying for yeah, yeah, you might be here for, for, for a over. while, so I'm gonna lower it pretty severely, I think. Especially All given right. that he's a natural-born caster. Let's say that yeah, this it, last it, one went off. I'll lower it to like a four. It does so, feel weird to have the uh, the godly magic affected the exact same way as the arcane stuff. <laughs> Yeah, because healing is more um, miracle deity stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a, you're a druid player, right? So all yeah. of your stuff is very yeah. like, oh my gosh, I have there's the gods exist here, so therefore yeah, I can magic. Yeah, I'll lower the gold of four, and then that yeah, that sort of yeah makes sense then because anything below that you would expect to fail. Yeah, so I'll well, lower it to like that. four, because at at that time I was just leaving it at like ten, just like base success is like ten. If you want to change how you're much. wording it, you could make it still a ten, but you get to add your spell attack bonus. No, I think I'm just gonna lower it to four. Just do a base okay. d twenty, because that's too much to remember for it to be like, oh, then you have to add this, then you have to add this. Just do base d20 no, so and I'll be, If you would click on spell attack, and then you would see like, okay, did it be the attack? This is true, but it's whatever. I'm <laughs> just gonna lower it to four. We'll just do that, okay, it'll be four. fine. Okay, so you're able to, so roll for whatever to heal the Zalgan. This is my highest level spell slot. And I've only got one of them. Oh, heal me, man. It's fine. Don't. It's cool. Save it. I'm good. I got a six. No, oh, no. Man. I was saying based on that last one. For that last. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I'm saying I'm, I'm saying that for the last one. Just roll the. Roll whatever the spell would have been for that last thing. To heal him, uh, so he heals for thirteen. I still got one and a three in those. A I one and two threes in those. <laughs> I know, I see that. I'm like, oh, you didn't have to heal me, man. You didn't have to heal me, man. You could have saved the spell slot, bro. I want I'd already cast. Because oh, that was retrospective of the previous one. Yes. Oh, okay. Um. And then. I would go to Aragar. Can I use that six? Yes, I'll let you use the six, because you are confused. Roll the D100. I'm not though. confused, I'm depressed. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 15. Wow, 15 for him. Alright. Um, roll the D100. Uh, Your D100s are pretty 66. average, though. Ah, 66. Like I say, it's always like 60s and 60s. Ooh! During the next hour, 
you may reroll any one spell, any one save, attack roll, or skill check. If you do so, you must take the new roll's result. That's quite interesting. I do go for it. That's inspiration. It's ba- yeah, it's basically, I'm Very just going to put that on my sheet as a DM inspiration. Okay, so easy for an hour though. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so are you going to go to the exit? Let's go. You haven't told us anything yet. I know. Well, there, there. This isn't the way that we had. Very come good reason. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like, I'm, just, to, I'm, I'm waiting to see if Knox tells us the thing where he heard he heard where the exit is. Oh, but um, if we are going to be, uh, if we're going to go confront the wizard, uh, we gotta leave and we uh, come back in through, like, the front entrance, or whichever way we had come in before. Because this is, like, I'd rather dungeon. not, not arrive where he expects us. Yeah, like, walking in the front door is just asking for trouble, surely. If we could somehow... Uh, see him before he sees us, and get and get and get the drop on him. I like. But then we might just have a chance. Can tell you wholeheartedly, Nox does not in any way, shape, or form want to engage him. Does he voice that, or just look like it? Well, he has said it before. Oh, okay. See, we're talking above the table at the minute. Yeah. But he had said it before when you guys talked about having a better opportunity, having a better chance of killing him and getting permission. And Wait, uh, did you roll the amount of healing that you did? Yes. Yeah, 15. 15. Oh. Hold yeah, on. I rolled incredibly low. No, that's uh, higher than what I thought. I am no longer. Thank you, sir. Yeah, given that could have been um, 35. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, you no, know, it could have been more than that because it was my highest level one. It could have been. Uh, 40 something. It's another option. Is it to do a medicine check? Is it Knox there? doesn't mention anything about the about the leaving. Was there a door like this room had two doors? We came in through one. Yeah. Yeah, because you were heading for a door when the goggles dropped down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess I guess uh, it'd be like he'll, he'll just be like, "Thank you, Druid, for your wrists and your. I I will leave, I will take point again." So I still think most of our enemies will not to have the tools dedicated to me to fighting me specifically. Mm-hmm. And I'll start to head towards that door. Okay. Uh, as you head through, you see a staircase familiar to the one before, and you exit out of the dungeon. Uh, you exit out of somewhere else, though. Instead of, like, a wasteland, you actually exit out into a garden. Is this, like, is this in no man's land randomly, or is this, like, near the city? As you turn around, the castle is directly behind you. So this is the gardens of the castle. Okay. Uh, he'll, like, look sort of Strangely, at the, the rest of the day, I was like, well, we could try again to head back to the head to town, but I, I worry that the same thing will happen. Can we short rest here? We could, uh, if we, especially if we find some some place to hide. Probably be much safer than than resting inside the man's castle. Yeah. 
We'll do like a, a stealth and then short short story. Yeah, short everyone rest. roll stealth. I give somebody the help action. Whoever has the lowest stealth. Uh, Zolgan, what's your base stealth? Like minimum? Uh, so, so it's ten plus whatever I have as the modifier. It's no, I should roll a minimum? one. No, what's your minimum? If you roll a one, roll what would be your minimum? Uh, Eleven, though. Eleven? Okay, roll your stealth, too. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Um, you're... Okay. So, Three as you go around... You're Wait, who got kinda the stealthy, but... Aragar and Fenrir are definitely more like... la di da di da <laughs> type of thing, whereas Zolgan and Nox are more like hunched down, more like in the shadows kind of thing. Uh, as you go along, there is... I just rolled low with that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you both rolled low. Um, As you go through, there is a little small wooden shack. As you open the door, there are a bunch of like gardening tools and like in like some like manure and some like soil and stuff inside it's a kind of spacious shed uh you all will be able to fit in the shed comfortably i could take a small break here they might find us but hopefully not Mentioned, like, so if we're taking a rest right here, do we plan to go back in right after? Um, we still don't know how, how many times this works, if it's even more than once. Yes, but if we leave and then we get sent back, we get sent back. I mean, it's one more time, uh, it's not like he can. It's not like the gargoyles will just be back, unless he makes them quicker than we can imagine. Uh, he might. Add some more. Yeah, but those will be there whether or not we go in today or tomorrow. So are you going to take a long, short rest? Yes. I think we're let, like let's discuss because like if we're not if we're not staying here, there's no reason to short rest. So are we going back in right after? No idea. I I thought we were. It was a big question, Druid. Oh, rhyme. Saying that, like, character. Well, no, 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 I'm just, I'm. Well, I assumed he was. I'm way too tired. I'm generally talking right character now. just all the time. Yeah. Unless. I kind of flow freely. Yeah, it's just I could easily tell when you were talking as Cack and when you weren't, but it's harder. Um. um so he just seems really distracted by, um, and really distressed by the whole magic situation. And he's kind of just following along, really. He's clearly not himself. Not that, I suppose, you would know, having not known him very long. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Alright, so I can... suppose we'll take a short rest here and then look at our best plan of action to try and take the wizard out. Alright. So, you guys are taking a short rest and that is actually where we're going to leave things for today's session. So that you guys 
Yeah, you guys get a little more time to plan out your plan of attack. Um, Wait, so are you doing a short or long rest? You guys are doing a short rest. Okay. Yes, you guys are doing a short rest, but we're also going to end the episode here. So, with that said, we will see you all next time. Goodbye.